So OBS has really bumped up their YouTube streaming support and it's been awesome to use. But one of the things that I was still missing that they haven't added is a YouTube activity feed, kind of like Twitch has it. So I'm going to show you how you can add one. So looking here, here's mine. Here's the activity feed that I'm talking about. I just like how you can manage broadcasts. We just stop and admire that from a little, we don't have to go to the YouTube dashboard or anything anymore. You can go public gaming, set your category, everything here, your mode, whether you want low latency, ultra low, enable DVR. And just a side note, be sure to do a check mark and remember these settings. And then you can actually create the broadcast or create broadcast and start streaming. It's not what this tutorial about, but I thought I'd go ahead and touch on that real quick was here. Now this is what we want. Disclaimer ahead of time, stream elements is what we're going to be using for this. And stream elements does offer their own installer for their different extensions go into OBS. The problem I have with that is sometimes you'll have some quirks with it. It doesn't work like a regular OBS plugin. If they would just release something that was a regular OBS plugin, it would be fine. Theirs also modifies other OBS files. So that means you can have some weird quirks sometimes. And then whenever, every time OBS Studio has an update, you also have to wait for stream elements to have an update. They're part of it as well. It can be kind of a pain. I'm going to tell you how you can just get the activity up. So if you already use stream elements, most people probably do. If you don't, I do recommend it, at least for this part. You can just log in, go to your dashboard, make sure you're using your YouTube account. It'll probably prompt you if you haven't already logged in. Here's your activity feed. This is what we want. What we're going to do, let me go ahead and shift this over just a little bit. We're going to go to the activity feed section here where we have nothing but this. So we're going to have this handy little pop out. You probably know where I'm going with this. Pop that out. Then you're going to copy that URL. It's funny. <laughs> Yoink, not stream elements. Copy that. After we do that, we're done and go back to OBS. And what I did here was I created a custom doc. So you go to docs, custom browser docs. And then that's where you'll just type in whatever you want to name it. YouTube activity and you'll paste in here and apply when you do that. That's okay. And then you're done and you can just drag it in here wherever you want it. Some of you may run into an issue that I did whenever I did that. Since I had used Twitch before, it defaulted to the Twitch activity feed for my stream elements, even though I was logged in as YouTube in the browser. So the way to fix that was temporarily, I went to docs, I created another custom browser doc. And what I did with that was I just sent it to streamelements.com. I know it's silly, but it worked. So whenever I created another doc, this is going to be a temporary one. You can delete it after this. You go to stream, just your regular stream elements.com and you'll, you'll take that URL, you'll copy it. You'll create another doc with it. You'll still have your YouTube activity doc just fine. Whenever you put this in here, I've already done it. So it may not um, work, but we'll see. Apply there. Okay. So see, it just pops up a regular window right here. And what you'll do if you'll have, you'll probably have a login button here where you'll sign out if you need to, if it's signed in a switch. Now this is using the OBS web browser and you'll just log in here during this source right here as your YouTube version. And then that'll fix your other doc once it refreshes. So just a side note, and then you can delete it afterward. You don't have to use that anymore. So just a side note that if you do run into issue where this happens to be stuck on Twitch. That's how you can fix it to be YouTube. You just need to log in that way. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I just wanted to put a couple of notes together while I've been streaming a little more on YouTube lately to try to make sure I kind of stay up to date because YouTube, uh, I've been turning out videos in the past about YouTube stuff and it's just, man, they're, they're changing things so quick, which overall it's been good changes. It's just hard to keep up with that with videos and figure out what to do with some of my old videos as I'm going through is like, okay, well, that's not entirely accurate anymore. Now we need to change this. So I'll just keep trying to do these little update videos to help you when it comes to uh, streaming on YouTube. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below.